So here I am at Cataract Falls, Indiana. Just got done shooting all the Queen's Beasts and I've got all these other coins I brought with me to take a look through. And of course, I had to bring this. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So I just got done filming a whole bunch of the Queen's Beast here at Cataract Falls and had a handful of other coins that I'd picked up over the last couple weeks at my LCS and all and I thought yeah, maybe I'll have time to shoot them so I did find a little time. This is a painted American Silver Eagle 2000. I thought it was odd that it was only painted on one side. Never had one of these before. A friend gifted it to me. Not bad. I generally don't buy painted American Silver Eagles. In fact, I don't have any. It's my only one. And here we've got another Silver Shields round. Justice Freedom round. I believe they call these, right? Yeah, the Silver Shield series. Yeah, I was I was just trying to fill out an order from, I think it was Provident one time. Just picked up a couple odds and ends of rounds that I know I don't have. I don't have this design. Hair on her is wicked looking. Yeah, it looks like Medusa. Yeah. Pretty cool little round. I noticed they got some of these in the proofs lately. I've been thinking about picking up one. They're sweet. Golden State Mint? Is that in mint I'm not sure. I think so. Anyway, let's take a look at the next one. We also picked up five of these one ounce Boston Tea Party rounds. Those are pretty frosty. Got a really nice finish to them. These were commissioned by Money Metals Exchange, and from what it says on the website, they commissioned these not only to provide a tool for citizens to protect against the collapse of the dollar's purchasing power, but to help rejuvenate the very symbols of liberty upon which this nation was founded. These symbols are not to be denigrated and demonetized as the highest levels our political class are now trying to do. Instead, they must be renewed, revered, and passed on to new generations who want the Founding Fathers' principles reasserted in modern-day America quite the message behind this coin. A very iconic symbol. One that I like on a round, especially a silver round. Glad I got five of them. Wish I could have gotten more. Let's take a look at the next round. So next we have my first quarter ounce of silver. This would be a design much like the pre-1933 gold pieces with the Indian on there. Nice little round. I'm not sure what I paid for it. A couple bucks, three, four bucks, something like that. It wasn't expensive. I like the design. Don't have anything cool around, so I picked it up. And while we've been down here at the fall shooting, it is impossible to try to talk while these videos are being shot because all you would hear is the water. That's all the mic would pick up. Yeah, during this, I have to turn down the water to be heard even at home. Right. And we had such a problem sometimes with people around us that just started talking and all and they'd, they'd have to talk so loud to be heard that the camera would just pick it up too. So it took many attempts to get some clean footage of actual fall noise without people being around. But we did find a couple minutes to finally sneak in a few shots without any people around. Oh, minor little face reveal. Not much though, because of the clouds and the surface on this coin. The fields are really weird. This one comes from the Royal Mint. This would be part of their like landmark series. I've got Big Ben. This one is Buckingham Palace. And I wasn't going to get any more after Big Ben because I really didn't like him. And the only reason I got this is at Max was having a special that if you bought a 2019 Royal Mint coin, you were entered in to get a five possibly win a 500 ounce monster box of Britannia's. Yeah, and we already had gotten our Queen's Beast, so... Right, so... Well, everyone, I'm going to wrap up all the little vids that I've got down here by Cataract Falls. Hopefully we'll come back one day. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll catch you on the next video.